man is omnipotent. Nothing is impossible for him. What seemed to be unthinkable undertakings yesterday are history today. The conquest of the moon, for example. Who talks about it anymore? Today, we are already on the threshold of conquering our galaxy. And in a not too distant tomorrow, we'll be considering the conquest of the universe. And yet man seems to ignore the fact that on this very planet, there are still people living in the Stone Age and practicing cannibalism. Primitive tribes isolated in a ruthless and hostile environment where the prevailing law is the survival of the fittest. And this jungle, which its inhabitants refer to as the Green Inferno, is only a few hours flying time from New York City. Was it to remind us of this that four brave young Americans went there to make a documentary on life in the jungle? Was it also to remind us, for instance, that before venturing into space, we should become more acquainted with the planet we live on? Four young and fearless Americans, children of the space age, armed with cameras, microphones, and curiosity. Alan Yates, the director famous for his documentaries on Vietnam and Africa. Faye Daniels, his girlfriend and script girl, and their two cameramen and inseparable friends, Jack Anders and Mark Tomazzo. Four youngsters who never came back. But let's have a look at them at the beginning of their incredible adventure. Here, at the border between Brazil and Peru, they are about to board a plane that will take them to the Rio Ocoro, a last outpost from which they will continue on foot, deep into the Amazon jungle, into the area known as the Green Inferno. Hey, are you really not scared? Not at all. I've been in plenty other dangerous places with them. And what about you, Alan? Well, there's only one thing that scares me. And that's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> He'd take me to the North Pole to put it off. Oh, I'd say he succeeded this time, too. And this is the last time. Yeah, provided we come back in one piece. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Well, you four certainly aren't the first to embark on such an adventure. There was an expedition in, uh, in 59 and another in 67. And neither of them came back. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Smith and that bunch of Frenchmen. Yes. Yeah, Frenchmen. They were amateurs, a bunch of jerks. They never succeeded in doing anything. For us, the difficult doesn't exist, and the impossible takes just a little more time. We'll be back. We'll be back. We have We're... Felipe, our guide. Oh, Say yeah. hi to the camera. Yeah. Those are the last pictures we have of them. Two months have passed since they were last heard from. Are they still alive? And if so, where are they? These are the questions that the rescue team sponsored by New York University and the Pan American Broadcasting System hope to be able to answer. Thank you for accepting Professor Monroe. Good luck. Yes. Professor Harold Monroe, NYU's noted anthropologist, has taken part in various expeditions exploring primitive cultures but this will be his first journey into Amazonia.
Basta! Mira lo que carga este. Un encendedor. Pobre Oliveira. Tenía apenas 20 años. Qué lástima. Cuando el curaro te llega la sangre, no hay nada que hacer. Mejor un balazo que una flecha con la selvatana. Pero nosotros el suero se lo dimos a tiempo. Sí, el suero. Tarda mal y nunca funciona con el curar. Siempre y cuando no nos llegue ya vencido. Los muchachos se lo cargarían sin ningún problema después de la muerte de Oliveira. Y tienen razón. Dentro de poco llegará el Yankee. Nuestras órdenes son aquellas de ayudarlo. Con suerte, un Yakumo prisionero es el mejor pasaporte para penetrar en el infierno verde. Do you think you could turn that... Thanks. All I can say is that you anthropologists and the missionaries are made out of special stuff. <laughs> if L holes like this didn't exist, I'm sure you would invent them. Whereas, I would give both my... Well, let's say I'll give anything to be somewhere else. Look, Lieutenant, I'll be as little trouble as possible. It's just that I'm sure you've got enough problems of your own, but I'll have to be, to be honest with you. No, 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 thanks. I need your help in, in organizing this expedition. How can I refuse? You have been recommended by everybody in our government as well as yours. Only I sure can guarantee that you'll still be breathing when you return. <laughs> Look, I know this is not going to be a picnic. Believe me, this is not my first trip into the bush. A skunk must have pissed in that. Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. This lighter belonged to Faye Daniels. Come with me, Professor. I'll introduce you to your guide. He's the best there, if you can get along with him. Hey, Chaco, this is Professor Monroe. Hello. It's nice to meet you. The lieutenant here was telling me what, a, what an excellent guide you are. You're going to take all this with you in the jungle? Yes. Well, forget it. We're going to need some weapons, some ammunition, plus some medicine. That's all we need. I already told your friends. In there, the more you carry, the quicker you get tired, the sooner you die. All right, all right. All I want to know, Mr. Chaco, is do we have a chance of finding them alive? Who's to say? The only thing I know is we're going to risk our lives to save those fuckers. Let's go see the Yakumo. Great warriors, these Yakumos. They are afraid of no one, except for the tree people. Tree people? No white man has ever seen them, or the ones who have never lived to tell about it. Bizazi! Bizazi! Did you see this? Looks like the sacred scar of a Terry. That's what it is. He's the son of a shaman, and he's been consecrated to the spirit of the jaguar, which also explains what they were doing this far from home. What do you mean? Ah, they were caught, yet they are not really cannibals. 
Which means it was probably some religious ceremony meant to chase evil spirits out of the jungle. White man spirits. <laughs> about the Yakuma. Can't afford to waste your strength helping that savage. He'll outlive all of us. There's no piranhas here. Come on. Come on, come on. There may not be any piranhas. There's always a few hungry caiman around. 